hey guys welcome back to my channel it's Polly Michelle and I am here with another plan with me video in my mini happy planner this is the March monthly plan with me and here you see our beautiful dashboard and this lovely quote what if I fall oh but my darling what if I fly I just love the way that mommy does these little quotes in their dividers so I really don't use the other part. I may cover that up later, but this is what the March monthly spread looks like right now. And if you remember, I said, this is the planner that I use for school. So luckily March is going to start with a spring break. It is a two week long break and I am so excited. I cannot wait. And we'll start back with a new class on the 13th of March. So this whole first part of the month is just free. And I'm gonna go with a green and pink theme. And you can see some washies that I pulled there and some scrapbooking paper. I pulled a whole lot of different stickers um, that I may be incorporating. A lot of um, Mombi stickers, a lot of Hobby Lobby stickers, and even some stamping. I tried to do Hello March with this stamp pad from the Dollar Tree, but there's no ink on this, y'all. If you will see this, it, it does not have no color payoff. Um, the sticker, the stamps are fine, but that ink pad, it gave me no color payoff. As you can see there, it was so light and see-through. So I just decided to cover it up. So I went on in and I covered that up. I'm gonna cover it up with some washi. And I'm gonna use this green and pink washi. And I think I got this from Michaels, the Recollection brand. So I'm gonna use that to cover that all up. And I'm gonna do the washi on both sides and the top. And I'm also gonna put some washi on the bottom later on. So now I'm gonna use this green glitter washi that I got from the um, Heidi Swap set. It's at Michael's as well. I'm gonna put that at the top on my sidebar and then I'm gonna use this sticker that I got out of one of my Mamby sticker books. It says, enjoy the moment. Cause I am going to be enjoying these first two weeks of spring break before this class starts. So, I'm putting that there for my motivation and I'm gonna put some more of that glitter washi underneath there. Um, this new class that we're having, they say it's not so hard. So it's um, women, reproductive, like obstetrics and pediatrics and things like that. So it should be fun, everyone is saying. So here I'm just going to um, cut that green and pink floral washi into a flag there at the top and I'm going to denote here in the first two weeks that there's spring break and there is not going to be any classes so I got this no school sticker out of my mom mommy sticker book and I'm going to use this washi that I got and I'm going to take this washi and I'm going to extend it from the beginning of the month all the way until the 13th and that's just gonna let me know that all of those lovely days are no school. No school. And I am so happy <laughs> to finally get a break. I promise you this class that I'm in right now is like one of the hardest classes. So it's crazy. Like I, I'm so appreciative of this break. So here you see, I just moved that no school down on top of that washi to make room for this spring break sticker because that's what this is. This is spring break. So I'm putting that there. I'm also gonna add a gold star at the beginning and the end 
so that you could see where it starts and where it ends. So now we're gonna start on the 13th, which is the next day and the first day of classes. So I kind of wanted that day to stand out so my eye can be drawn to it. So I grabbed some scrapbooking paper and this is like some scraps from um, a project that I already had and I cut it down to size and I put it there with some tape, some adhesive tape. I got this one from AC Moore for a dollar. Yeah, I used their 50 cent up, 50 percent off coupon and I paid 50 cents for it. So it was seriously a good deal. So I'm gonna stick that on there and then I'm gonna get in this alphabet and letters book and it has these gold foil letters. And I'm just gonna further add this to this area where I add the scrapbooking paper. And I'm gonna I'm gonna write class begins. And what this is gonna do is gonna also cue me into this date that's so important to me so I can make sure that I have all the supplies that I need, that I have all of my binders ready, I have all of my colored pencils and pens and things like that that I use to be successful. So I'm going to make sure that I have all this stuff ready on this day. And just by seeing it up close and personal, it's going to really help me to be successful. So now I'm using this stamp. I found this stamp at... Michael's it was in the clearance section for 99 cents and it has a whole bunch of those little stamps and I like the way that notes turned out I think it looks really good. So I'm gonna just put a little um, Heart checklist there so that I could jot any notes for the month of March that come up and I can keep those in handy I'm also adding a pair of glasses there to help me because classes are gonna be on Tuesdays and Wednesdays so I'm trying to do something to remember that Tuesday and Wednesday are actually going to be classes for me, um, Tuesday and Wednesday. So um, I'm putting the glasses there. I'm adding these pencils that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna go in with a little decor over and try to add some things to the other side of the page like this work hard just to give me a little motivation and these little exclamation points because Wednesday is clinical day and they are very important. You are only allowed to miss one your whole semester. So it's very important not to miss any of those. Now you'll see me going to the side and I'm just going to mark week one, week two and week three. Our semester is seven weeks long, so each class is seven weeks. So I'm just marking there just so I can kind of get an idea of when things are starting and when things are ending. Because honestly, this program is going by so fast and I really cannot even keep up with what's happening. So I'm adding that floral washi on the bottom and it's a little bit too wide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it down into smaller strips and it's going to fit just perfect there. Now you must remember when you're using these X-Acto blades or any of these razor blade box cutters, whatever the case may be, you want to be very careful because you don't want to cut through the page. So just a minimal amount of pressure is necessary. So I'm just going to add a little bit more decor, some motivation and things like that on the other side of my mouth. I'm looking at my stamps and I think I'm going to put a stamp banner at the top. I did this in my last weekly spread. I stamped this little banner at the top and then I went in with my colored markers or colored pens and I colored it in in the different colors of my spread and it was so cute. I thought that that was so nice. So I wanted to do that again. So here goes. And I kind of wanted to 
do that a couple more times throughout the page but I didn't want it to be overwhelming so I just left it alone at the one because I didn't want to you know run out with the with the with the um, stamps those banners so here I'm just coloring it in with the color closest to that blue green and then I'm gonna color in with the pink as well and I think it turned out really well but I did think that it was a little bit plain just sitting there if I had something else to put near it. So I went into my sticker book and I found this Me Time sticker because I promise you guys, these two weeks in March, I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to work. I'm not gonna have to go to school every day. I'm not gonna have to study anything. I'm not gonna have to learn. So I'm just gonna be just relaxing. So I'm all done. I'm popping these pages back in and it looks like this is my finished project product excuse me so I hope you guys like this spread and enjoy these playing with me's if you want to see more make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like this playing with me if you have any questions or comment please leave them down below and thank you for watching bye bye